boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you I don't think they want you to know. But I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling author Mickey D with The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device, my friends. I want to thank you for all, all of you supporting uh, my channel by purchasing the books and t-shirts. I uh, thank you very, very much. I'm asking that you continue uh, sharing the videos, uh, allowing the uh, commercials to play through, uh, the likes, thumbs up, uh, comments. They all help the channel, my friends, and I really, really appreciate it. As you know, we do, if this is your first time joining us, we do physical analysis where we go out and we find out what's going on with some of these companies. Uh, we do fundamental, we also do technical analysis, my friends. So you'll hear, when we talk about companies, you'll hear us coming from different angles with the different companies. This physical analysis, uh, during the dot-coms in the 90s, uh, when I was trading the dot-coms, I used to go out and uh, I would find out what was going on with these companies. I'd make a physical appearance and sometimes there was no company there. These companies would add .com you know, on the end of their, their uh, name and they would go from uh, $5 to $100. And there was a lot of that going on. And I don't see that yet. There's no mania with marijuana stocks or anything. I've been in it since its inception, my friends. We were out early uh, in my books, Make Money Online with Cannabis Stocks. You can get the audio book, the paperback book, or the ebook on Amazon.com. Uh, in many of my, my, my books, <clears throat> you can tell I was out, out there early. I was talking about uh, uh, strains in, in like Charlotte's Web and uh, how they were putting these uh, crossbreeding and, and the different things. And, and you can tell in, in, in my books and uh, the promising medical marijuana and CBD treatments, what's, what's out there and some of the promises that are out there right now. Uh, which which are looking good. Things are looking up. Investing in medical and recreational cannabis by and before, during, or after legalization. My friends, there's a lot of legalization going on uh, right now. We really need a breakthrough. We need something to come through. I was talking to an uh, investment banker last night, and we were saying the same thing. Guy uh, back east, uh, I'm in the west, as you know, but he was. I was telling him the same thing. We need something. We need a little breakthrough right now. There. But it's not only America, but Canada, of course, is leading the way, but it's all over the world. We, we need little breakthroughs here and there. They're getting them. They're getting breakthroughs in, in Thailand. They're getting little breakthroughs, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in different parts of the world. Uh, they're getting, <clears throat> I'll be all right here in a second, but they're getting breakthroughs all over, my friends. And uh, the largest indoor and outdoor marijuana farms in the world, uh, I talk a little bit uh, about that, of what's going on all over the world my friends. But as you know, I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a money manager. I'm an author. I write these books. And that's what I do. I get you the information early and I get it, I, I put, try and put it in your hands as early as possible. It's, you know, I try and keep you away from uh, a lot of the stocks. Uh, in none of our books uh, will you see anything like about uh, this latest company that blew up, uh, Can Trust. And uh, you won't see anything at the can't trust. There's, there's early on, my friends, in, in just like the dot coms. There's, there has to be, a, uh, there has to be that trust between the company and its shareholders. And sometimes the shareholders get the, the back end of the stick there, and sometimes they don't. But we've, we've at the scoop. What we try to do is we just try to keep them honest. Like, uh, it, it, you know, we follow up on them. That's what, that's what we do. We, we you know, I, I was, uh, take a company like a Planet 13 from, from before the doors even opened, before the signs even went up. Uh, when I did a walkthrough, a uh, personal tour with the co-CEOs and they said, this is what we want to do, you know. That type of, of honesty in this business, where you've got a guy that was a former mayor, and you've got another great businessman, and you know you can roll with that type of company. Uh, so they've turned out to be. Watch some of those uh, the playlist on on Planet Thirteen. You'll see from the beginning 
and we think that <clears throat> one day that's going to be a big company. But right now, I want to talk to you about Zenibus. There's a lot of examples out there, my friends. We, we've got, you know, we get into these things super early. Uh, you, you know about the history with IPR. I've said Innovative Industrial Properties. I've said that was going to be, on page 35 here early on, I said that was going to be my AOL of the 90s, and it's going to go up maybe $160, $80 and split. I hope so. You may have an opportunity in this next little uh, pullback here. If you get an opportunity to get IIPR, you and your stockbroker and your money manager get together and you guys make, make something happen on that IIPR. I do think that it's the number one uh, marijuana stock for the future. That's Innovative Industrial Properties, IIPR. So on a pullback, uh, get together with your financial advisor and you guys really consider it, my friends. But I want to talk to you for a minute about a company that's, that was hyped a lot. It's gotten a lot of press. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about it. I'm talking about Zenibus. I'm talking about Zena. Z-E-N-A on the Canadian Stock Exchange. Exchange and Z-B-B, uh, Z-B-I-S-F on the over-the-counter. Now, over-the-counter, it's about $1.19, uh, 19 or 20 or so. Uh, on the uh, Canadian Stock Exchange, it's about $1.55 in Canadian dollars. Now, why am I talking about Zenibus? Zenibus has done a couple things that I really, really like. Um, not, not they've done a couple financing. Let's let's put it that way. The, the Zenibus, their financing deals are I've called them pot, pot, pot brilliant is what I've called them. But my friends, this stock. Has gone we're talking Canadian dollars. We're talking six, almost seven dollars. Six, five, four, three, two. You know, in the ones, it's in a definite uh, monthly, weekly downturn, my friends. And have we hit the bottom? I don't know. Uh, with Zenibus, and I'm going to tell you why, my friends. Zenibus is it's a licensed cultivator in medical and recreational cannabis in Canada. Now, they've done some moves that will ultimately help the stock, which is us, the stockholders, the owners. We will benefit from that. Now, what they've done is not new. It's nothing new. It may be new to, to some, some people out there. But they've done, they've done it once. With Tilray, they did a $30 million non-dilutive financing uh, to supply, uh, supply agreement with, with, with a Tilray uh, subsidiary, which is uh, uh, High Park Holdings. So let's just say they'd done the $30 million deal with Tilray, and it was non-dilutive. So that was good for, for the stock. And now they've done it again. So today they announced a $10 million uh, non-dilutive uh, supply deal also with Starseed Medicinal Inc. So that's a good deal also. So it seems like Zenibus is getting their financing uh, together, or at least they're making some deals and stuff. But my concern is, and the reason I haven't talked to it about it, is you guys know, we, we go out and we, we look at these, we turn the tables over. Zenib there's a lot of information out there that's difficult to get. And when I started looking at some of those numbers, um, the reason they were difficult to get, I believe from my experience in my years, uh, those type of numbers are hard to get because they don't want a lot of people to know. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to rub that. I don't want to rub people the wrong way. Now I'm looking to get into Zenibus. I'm not a shareholder right now. But I can see, based on their numbers and based on our research, I can see why the company has lost 80% of its value here over the last months. But what they have to do, what Zenibus has to do, is they got to get some of this paperwork taken care of. Now, they know what it is. I don't need to elaborate on it. You know, I don't, I, you know if I had a, a paid newsletter or something, I would... Uh, definitely put it out there for for subscribers. I'm on YouTube, my friends, and I love my new YouTube uh, subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. If 
you like what you're hearing, and you can benefit from a station like this. We want to keep this thing nice and small and tight. I want to give you the information that, that you need. Am I, am I looking to, you know, possibly get a position in, can, in uh, Zenibus? Yes, I am. You know, uh, these deals where they're uh, supplying these uh, uh, dry uh, flour and stuff, these, these, these are some good, these, these are good deals. I got to work with my English there. These deals are good deals for the company. They're good deals for the stockholders too, for the, sh for the stock and for the stockholders, my friends. Those are good deals. But some of that stuff that's difficult to find and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as you start. If you've read Make Money Online with Cannabis Stocks, there's a section in here where I have a little strategy where I say, look at this, that, and the other thing. Right in here. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you look at Zenibus. Uh, and you'll, you'll know. Uh, you'll, you'll know. You'll know exactly, my friends. But with that said, I just... Wanted to put that out there. Uh, do I think that these deals are are great deals for the company? Uh, Non-dilutive deals, yes, they're good. They're good deals. Does Zenibus have to answer some questions? Yes, they do. Um, and I believe not only Wall Street, but those gifted people in Canada on their exchange, those gifted people in in uh, Europe. Maybe on the Frankfurt Exchange, I think everybody kind of knows that there's some question marks out there with Zen. Like I said, I'm not going to elaborate on that because I'm not throwing shade on the company at all. I like the company. I like Zenibus. But there are some questions out there that need answers. And maybe they'll come out with a, who knows? Maybe they'll come out with a uh, press release tomorrow and, and have some, some num have some different uh, different numbers for us. That's means. Yeah, are they making money? Yes, they're they're a, a company that is uh, has revenue. Uh, do they need to do these deals? Yes. Is the share outstanding count uh, super high that they need to uh, work this angle of uh, getting non-dilutive deals now that the you know or is the money right out there? There's questions out there. Uh, that need to be answered. So with that said, my friends, thank you. Once again, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. One, I'm going to keep it. I have to because there's a lot of junk out there right now, my friends. A lot of junk. And we got to weed through it. We got to weed through it. My friends, it's similar to back, back in the day when I was trading the dot-coms. It's similar. The marijuana industry. So so is the Bitcoin industry right now. You got to weed through. If you're trading Bitcoin, you got to weed through all that stuff. So I'm not a Bitcoin trader, my friends. I, full disclosure, I've owned the uh, ETF there for uh, a minute. I don't own it now. Uh, sold that. But our industry is just like that. And this is our industry and we got to weed through it. That said, have a great day. Have a great trading week. Uh, stocks right now are kind of, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. But my friends, in the long run, here in the next few months, this Zenibus may be a company, if they get some answers out there to some of these questions, they may be a company that uh, you may be able to benefit from uh, mightily, my friends. Uh, they, they are in position to turn it around uh, really, really quick, I think. But right now, monthly downtrend, weekly downtrend, uh, I see no, there's the knife, the knife, I see no reason to try and catch a falling knife at this particular time. So you, you have time is what I'm saying. With that said, my friends, love you. God bless you. Like I said, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thumbs up. We like that. Thank you for bearing with me with the commercials. You know, it's set it and forget it. If you're walking, if you're working out this morning, that kind of deal, that's the, the I probably should have told you earlier, but that's the kind of deal. I'm not going to show you a lot of charts. I'm not going to show you a lot of uh, diagrams and all that. Just set it and forget it. And this financing that they've done here lately is pot brilliant. If they keep it up, 
it's going to be even better. Keep, keep it up like they need to keep up this type of financing. I think other companies in, in our industry, in the marijuana industry, will definitely uh, take part in. They'll be uh, mimicking what uh, Zenibus is doing. With that said, love you. God bless you. Have a great day.